Hi, my name is Molly, and welcome to the drawing portion of our Fine Arts Curriculum. Today we are going to be learning how to make a flat shape appear to be 3D, or have volume. Specifically, I will be teaching you how to draw a sphere. Let's go! For this project, you will need a set of drawing pencils, or if you don't have that, a number two pencil will do, a piece of plain drawing or sketch paper, a ruler, and a good eraser. Let's begin! Hi! Now that you've gathered the materials, let's get started. So today, I'm going to teach you how to draw a sphere, or make a flat circle pop. And how you do that, the first thing you need is a varying gradation. And so if you were able to watch Drawing Pencils Explained, I did a gradation scale for all the drawing pencils. And so for this one, I chose seven of those in that scale, ending with a complete white. And so if you want to pause the video and create a similar gradation scale. All I did was trace my ruler up to inch seven. So I traced it and then I did a mark every inch and created seven boxes. Okay, perhaps you're saying now, well, I don't have all those pencils. All I have is this one drawing pencil I found or maybe a 2B pencil. So I just want to also show you, you don't necessarily need a set of drawing pencils to do this. Um, but it is nice to have some kind of scale at the top of your paper. So I'll show you what I did. Um, I took this HB pencil and just by applying more pressure and then ending with less pressure, you can create a gradation scale. Now notice how my hand is over top of the drawing pencil. I'm not holding it like a writing pencil. It's over top of it. I'm gonna start with my darkest value first. Okay, and I'm gonna slowly lift the pressure. Okay, so it's nice to see this up there just so you can have some kind of idea of where you're going. So, and then it's gonna end in that flat white, we'll say out here, right? Right now, I'm gonna start with my HB again. And this is what I tell people, if you have tr trouble drawing a circle or you feel like, goodness, I'm not good at drawing a circle, just start by circular motions, okay? And when you feel like, okay, I think I'm getting a good circular motion, set your pencil down. You might be there for a while, and as you can see, my lines aren't perfect, but what I do is I'll go back in and erase the ones I don't want, and add some that I do. So I've erased most of the lines in this circle. The light, the lines are pretty light at this point. Um, so I'll go around them just so you can see where my circle is even. Um, okay, and so now, how do I make this flat shape pop? But at least four different tones will cause, used in cooperation, will cause this flat shape to pop into a sphere. The first question I need to ask is, where is my light source coming from? So I, I'm saying, okay, there's a light source up here, so I put an L for light source. Maybe draw an arrow down to my sphere. I'm not great at drawing the horizon line or the table line or whatever you wanna call it on my own. It's usually uneven. I'm gonna use that ruler to go on both sides of my circle to make it look like it's sitting on some kind of desk or table, and so, now we have, you did a little dot for your light source, which we'll probably erase later. Now we want to start shading. Now some people wanna start shading in this kind of flat 
straight diagonal lines. That doesn't make your object look like it's curved, does it? It makes it look flat. So we want to use contour lines, okay, to give the effect of that circular, round, bulging ball. So again, I have my wrist or my finger over top, okay? And actually, I don't wanna start out with my HB. I'm gonna start out with my darkest one, which is my 6B. For you guys that just have an HB or just a, a pencil, you're just gonna apply more pressure. And I'm gonna start with my contour line because this is where the least amount of light is gonna show up at this back area. Let me just put an arrow there right here. Now there's still gonna be some light right here. So we don't wanna do dark, dark, dark all the way up there. But we know that down here, this is gonna be very dark. So I'm gonna go over this a little bit and make it really stand out as being dark. Okay. Now one thing, so I did that, and we're gonna stop for a second. And one thing you have to think about with a light source, you have to ask yourself, okay, yes, light is coming directly. So we're finding our direct light. But what about the reflective light? Okay, so I'm writing the word reflective. What about that? Well, if you have this light source right here, it's invariably touching down on your, ref your maybe reflective surface and bouncing off of that and creating another light spot on your sphere. So we have to keep that in mind. A good exercise for you to do while you're not doing an art video is maybe look at an apple or look at an orange or some kind of ball and notice that light isn't just in one spot. There's probably reflective light that's bouncing off a surface and hitting that apple or ball or orange in a different place too. So look for the direct light and the reflective light. Okay, now we're ready to go back to darkening that spot down here. I'm gonna use my 4B pencil. Okay, and now I've got these two awkward dots. So once they're out of the way, I can see, okay, does this, does this look right? Does it not? Um, maybe I wanna take my finger and blend some. I can even erase if I feel like, wow, that, that I don't have enough light going, it's too dark. Um, can blend this more with my finger. Some people like a blending tool. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna start erasing my arrows, any awkward fuzziness that got outside of my ball. Now it's time for the shadow, right? If you have a light source coming from this direction, where is your 
shadow going to fall? And some people would say, oh, it's huge. It's really fat, like that big, you know? Well, that's not really true. It's actually, if that light is up where it is, it's actually going to be a pretty thin shadow. So I'm going to take my, again, my 6B. We're going to really emphasize how dark it is under this ball. And I'm going to lift the pressure a little bit. And I'll go to my HB pencil here. Slowly, slowly go out. Now I have my 2H pencil. Really see that gradient even right there in that shadow. Okay. I still see a little awkward marking there. Okay, so there you have it. We have now a sphere instead of a flat circle. And this is something you guys can work on at home. And you can do studies of oranges and apples and do gradient scales. And so now hopefully you can have a lot of fun turning flat shapes into 3D looking objects. Thanks for joining us. Hey, hey.